I like you. Most people never look twice. I'm gonna get us out of here, okay? <laughs> How'd you get up there? No use asking him questions. He doesn't talk. What? I've been here the whole time. You just didn't look at me. I didn't want you to. What have you done to him? Nothing. I never hurt him. Are you keeping him prisoner here? Prisoner? No. He's not a prisoner. He is a student. And I'm his servant. Now, why did he call you here? He wasn't wanting me. He was reaching out to his mother. I suppose that's only natural. A boy would miss his mom every now and then. See, his spirit likes to travel. When he's sleeping, sometimes he goes and plays in his old room. Where's Mark? It's fear. Fear makes that easy. So you were already thinking the worst. If I'd found you when you were five or six, the things we could have learned from each other. But it's too late now. Yo. Yo. You dead? You're not supposed to sleep here. The lock closes at 7.30. Where's Marion? We're open again at 6 a.m. You can come back then. You know, he can do this all day. Needs the exercise. Plus, he's showing off for you a little bit. So you taught him to do this? Yeah. They thought he was mentally handicapped, but his mind is stronger than anything that they can imagine. He's not afraid of the unnamed. He's learning to use its power. The unnamed? Well, yeah. You've seen it. It's seen you. I can tell that just by looking at you. Well, what is it? Well, if we knew what it was, then we could give it a name, couldn't we? And when we give things a name, we make them safe. And we do that out of fear. And that makes us weak. This thing you can't name. No one can. The boy knows that. Hell, he never talks at all. He never uses words. Well, the other children, the brother and sister, this unnamed thing, is that what made you kill them? Well, you see, they weren't right. I mean, they were talented and gifted and all. I mean, that's what drew me to them. But when I looked in their eyes, all I saw was fear. Well, they didn't have to die. Hey, I love those children. When I took their lives, I took what was best in them. Their gifts became my gifts. In fact, you could say they're still alive. Inside me. Now, Adrian, he's the one I was waiting for. Now picture yourself filled with warmth and light. You're safe here. Wherever you were, whatever you saw, 
It's all right to remember now. You can remember now, Mark. You're safe now. Is he blocking some trauma? Someone's gotten into his mind. Fight him, Mark. You're strong. Fight him. Mark, where's Marion? We need to find her. Tell us where she is. Gloria, I'm Elmer Greentree. It's the middle of the night. What are you? We need you to come with us. It's about aging. Oh, God. You found him, haven't you? Is he? If you love him, he'll come with me now. I promise you. Yes, hope. How long are you going to keep me here? The door is right behind you. I guess you didn't notice it before. Adrian. Come on, Adrian, come with me. Please, come with me. Why would he go with you? He has everything he needs here. Please, Adrian, please. Adrian, your education is almost complete. No, no! God, please, don't kill him. Kill him? Why would I kill him? He's part of me. We are connected in ways you couldn't possibly understand. <laughs> Take the knife and use it. Take her, her life, her strength, her gifts. Adrian, you're stronger than he is. You don't have to do this. Don't let him make you do this. Now, Adrian. <laughs> Look up there.
Are you right, Adrian? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm gonna call the paramedics. You've seen it all, man. The unnamed. And you know it's coming. We can stop it. to see somebody die. Elmer, he was just crazy, wasn't he? All that stuff about stealing people's souls. He wasn't crazy. No, I wish I could believe that it was. But you knew what he meant about the unnamed. The unnamed? That's one name for it. Thank you. already here. That child's going to need watching. 